we got 13 inch macbook air today so this is a 2018-19 model which if we connect the charger it doesn't turn on so it's a complete that customer tried to disconnect and reconnect the battery but it's still not turning on if we look at the at the uh, power meter you can see how it stays at 5 volts so this should go to to 20 volts when when it is recognizing the the board properly if we have a look inside you can see where it disconnected the battery and it's still not powering up so whatever is happening is happening on the electronic side of it so let's take this board out and test further Okay, so let's have a look what's going on over here. So we don't have short circuit around the around the CD32, which is a good sign because they're the ones which switches from five to twenty volts on the on the adapter. That means that uh, we have a short circuit somewhere in the rest of the line. So no short shorts short here. Okay, we have a short circuit in the PP bus line. Yep. Okay, short circuit on the PP bus line. So most likely we have a long capacitor or something like that. Let's see what we that is. So PP bus line is over here around this LCD backlight fuse. And, and you can see how it is short circuiting. If we look at the schematic, uh, we can see that um, the site of this backlight fuse is a PP bus G3 hot. So we basically need to go and identify uh, what on this line is short shorting. So we have lots of components on this line because it's one of the major arteries. So one by one, we need to go and identify these components. Other, another way of doing that is uh, basically injecting voltage into the board and, and see what is heating up on the, our infrared camera. So we, we, we will start with the two volts and we'll see if under the infrared camera anything is getting hot. So it has one volt resistance. There you go, something's heating up in, in that area there. So uh, one ohm resistance should should be good enough to catch any um, leakage. There you go. So I'm injecting on this side on the PP PPV3 bus, and we're having a uh, some heat up going on around this MOSFET or on the other side of the board. So let's sweep the other side of the board and see how it's going over there. Based on the schematic, all these big caps on the other side uh, on that line and um, over here we have a uh, Q7065 which is heating up so it's either that or something on the other side which is U7400 or one of these capacitors so let's try to inject some voltage here and see if that's gonna heat up because it's a bit hard to figure out on which side of the board the, the, the heat is coming up from Let's see this side. Yep, there you go, something's heating up in that corner. So we have, a, what do we have there? We have like a little cap, is that true? So in this corner over here, we have a little cap. That might be the one. Let's try again. Yep, that little cap over there looks like it is heating up. Okay. That little bugger seems to be the one. On the mic microscope, it's clear that uh, th this capacitor is short circuiting, and uh, if we zoom in all the way, uh, we can see a little mi microscopic cracks on, on the capacitor itself. 
This usually is caused by uh, consistent overheating. Um, this new generation, actually, MacBooks, they don't have a, a, a good um, cooling cooling system in place. Once we, we remove that capacitor, we can get um, a, a new one and solder it in that place. So this is a 2.2 microfarad, um, 25 volt capacitor, which which is common, so we can replace it easily. We found and, and replaced the the blown capacitor so basically this little component over here was shorted and we, we could actually see how under the microscope uh, it was actually it, it had a crack inside um where you run away yeah this ones are really small components and uh yeah most of the companies will will advise you to replace the whole macbook which we don't need to do uh, we can just identify the the fail component and do electronic level repairs and repair them. So let's check uh, <clears throat> if it is firing up. So if you remember before, we used to get a um, only five volt on the adapter uh, on the meter. This should go to 20 volts if it's starting properly. So 5.3, 20 volts. There you go. 0 0.0701. 0 so this is starting current, 0, 2, 0, 6, there you go. 0, 6 means the, that the system had fired up and it's loading. So let's assemble and test. Let's connect the charger and see if it is if we're in the game so 5.3 20 0 39 we should be getting a booting device now there you go it's firing up and and there it is guys this macbook air 2018 has been repaired and it is ready to go um it's a little Component which had which failed. Have a look how small it is. So by by repairing these these devices rather than replacing, we 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 care after our environment and we ensure that they don't end up in the landfill somewhere in third world world country, most likely burnt for the metal inside. Plus, not to mention that manufacturing of one device costs and uh, impact to the planet is is unbelievable thank you guys for watching and, and if you need the service all the information is in the description